Hey guys, this is Nicole, and I am here with my second um, video of putting together the entire kit from the pile that I started with at the beginning of the series. So I already put this together. I've already pulled stuff for it, but I'm going to go through my process with you because I didn't do it on camera. So here was the initial start of, of this pile of supplies. So I have multiple of some of these same sheets, so I'm going to keep those together. So my base was um, Allison Craft Capture Life and Everyday Eclectic Lines. They mesh well together. They work well together. A lot of times when you have manufacturers that do multiple lines, a lot of times that is the case. So um, I thought that those would be a great mix to put together. Um, and then I had this second sheet from Everyday Eclectic. Then I also added in this Today's Story from Photo Freedom which just had, again, a lot of those really pretty um, blues and pinks and things I thought went really well. The leftover sticker sheet from Here and Now by Lori Whitlock. Um, again, I also thought that that had a lot of the similar tones and colors. I just have a few stickers left on this glitz sheet, and they're pretty basic black, yellow, and there's some color in there, so I thought that that would complement these sheets well. And then this one has a little bit of a different feel to it. Um, it's a little bit more, um, the colors aren't qu quite as deep and rich, but I still thought that it went well. You had like these darker blues I thought went really well together and then mint greens and the yellows. And then there's lots of different pinks going on. So I thought that that worked fine. There's a little bit of orange here in which there is orange in the, the Everyday Eclectic. So actually there's orange in both, I think. Um, yeah. So I thought that that was a good fit for, for this basic gray sheet as well. And that's from Prism. So that kind of gives you an idea of where my starting point was. So then my next step after um, getting these together was then, as you guys saw, I went through all my embellishments and I just applied a lot of them to this pile that I thought would would go nicely. And I'm going to just show a couple of these here, so just so you can see. I'm going to show actually, just so you can kind of see how it fits together. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. And so I'm just going to really briefly show you, you already saw a lot of these items because um, I did a lot of it on video. Um, but I'm just going to show you really quickly the, what the pile of embellishments ended, ended up looking like. So this was actually cut apart from a leftover sheet because I got this um, collection like three times because I loved it so much. And whenever it's 50% off on at Hobby Lobby, I'd grab it. Um, again, some of these are unused packages. I had been hoarding all my Heidi Swap stuff and decided that this would be a good time to, to get them um, her items into um, kits and get them used up. And so this was really cute. It had the pink, it had this um, really pretty like teal blue, um, and then this brighter green, which um, isn't real prominent, but it is in, I think it's in this one here. Um, and so I did end up pulling a little bit more green in with my papers as well, because there's not a lot of that bright green. It's more of a yellowish, like citron green, um, or citron yellow kind of color. So uh, I thought that would be perfect. You know, I'd pulled, I just had these randomly le random leftover chipboard stickers from a leftover or a used up sticker cardstock, sorry, chipboard sticker sheet. <laughs> I always say cardstock instead of chipboard. I don't know if I'm the only one. And I just had, you know, a lot of the colors, a lot of the, the pinks and oranges and aquas. And so then this also brought in some of that gold foil. So I added in some gold as, you know, th that now helps tie in some other gold elements. So I have these from Heidi Swap, again, just matching this color here very nicely. And this was left over from, I think, the glitz paper line that I put in, in here for the 12 by 12 sheet. There's a few colors that aren't going to quite work, I don't think. This has like a purple, you know what? I always think it's purple, but I think it's actually maybe more of a navy blue, and I think it actually might work well with some of those. So actually, I think it'll be fine, but just really cute, really fun. These really random leftover rub-ons from a long, long time ago. I don't even know if they work anymore. I just thought I would put them in here and really try to use them, and if they don't, I did see um, a thing, oh, uh, Sandra. 
Um, oh, one of the pink camera ladies. I can't think of her last name or her YouTube address, but she had a really fun thing where she took some older rub-ons and she just like rubbed on. And even if part of it came off, it created this really cool like background effect. And like just, it was a really neat. So I might just even do that with some of my, my old rub-ons if they don't actually come off, come off and completely. And then I have these. I think these are from the same line from Fancy Pants. Just again, leftovers. So this is this is the full sheet. I use three of them here. Um, again, just the the turquoises and the yellows. And then you have there's a lot of craft, some lighter colors, and then some like regular craft. And that just matched really well. It's like a light cork color. And then just everything just fit really well, really nicely with the colors. And what I do when I use up a good portion of a 12 by 12 sheet, or if a 12 by 12 sheet is like mostly alphas and then a little corner of other things, is I'll, I'll cut it out and put the alphas with my alphabets and then just put this with my stickers. So this is probably that situation. And this is just what's left over of, of that portion of the sheet. And then I pulled in some gold elements again because I had pulled in that gold in those um, those chipboard stickers. So I there's a lot of camera um, images in these sticker sheets, so I thought that was great. And that's something too that when you're looking for embellishments, to look at the different icons that are in your paper lines or your sticker sheets, and that will help guide you um, when you're deciding what embellishments to go into your kit. So some Heidi Swap cards that have gold on them. So, this is just a leftover Amy Tangerine puffy sticker sheet. I just used this line and I, I think the orange is kind of what caught my attention because there is some orange throughout this, but all the colors work really nicely. This was left over from a Dear Lizzie line documentary that I just finished um, scrapbooking with as well. And I wanted to get some more black in here because there is a lot of black um, in each of the sticker sheets and so I wanted to get some more black elements into the kit and so I thought these would be perfect. And I had these gold tags which um, have the brighter pink and gold and craft and then some of that teal blue. Some more vellum cards with gold foil and then just uh, one more little gold foil paper here. And then I think you guys saw most of these. These are all just the stickers I filtered through when I emptied out my baskets and thought that they went the best with these particular color schemes. And so I'm just going to put these here. And one thing, and I'm as I'm doing this, I'm kind of noting what I have a lot of. So I know I have a lot of stickers. I have a few dimensional elements, like I have these. I have a few chipboard stickers, like I have these are chipboard stickers. Um, have lots of flat elements. I have, you know, rub-ons because I have these and I also have these and then more flat stickers. I have plenty of words and phrases. Um, here's a few more dimensional elements that are nice and neutral. I have some gold, so I'm good there. So I just kind of take stock of what um, I have plenty of. And I feel like one thing I needed a little bit more of was um, a few more dimensional elements. And I, since I had this pack, I think I'm good on Project Life cards. And as I go through the paper, I find that I also have a lot of cut apart sheets available to me. So I don't really need to go to my Project Life bin at all. But as I'm going through, um, as, or as I've already gone through, the rest of my other bins that I showed you the very in the intro video, um, those are the things I'm going to look for. I also know that when I when I separated out these embellishments into this pile, I didn't do a lot with mint green because I put, kept that aside for another color scheme I know that I, I'm gonna be going for. But there is mint green here and there is mint green throughout these sticker sheets. So that's something else I'm gonna focus on when looking for my papers and embellishments is to get some more mint green in here to help pull all that together. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. And then um, the next step then was papers. And because I had bought in these lines <laughs> multiple times, I have quite a few papers left from this, from these lines. And so I just, I mean, it just makes sense to pull those, right? Because you know that they're going to match. And so I just kind of um, took some stock in 
what colors I have, if I have good backgrounds, if I have good busy patterns, and you know, just a good mix. And really I have a lot from the Capture Life and the Everyday Eclectic left. A lot of cut apart sheets, some multiples. So I think I'm really good on um, backgrounds on Project Life, layering type of cards, journaling cards. I'm good with busier patterns. Um, there's some travel themed items, you know, with the airplanes and stuff. And so there are some papers that kind of have that as well. I don't know that I added a lot to that with the other embellishments, but if I want to do a travel themed page, I sure can. So you can see everything here. Make sure one camera. Yes. Again, lots of cut apart sheets. This is from Photo Freedom. So I have a combination of papers from, you know, three of the five sticker sheets. So that's just going to be really um, great when it comes to coordinating it all, all the layouts. I think I had bought that Photo Freedom twice, too. Sometimes you just love something and you don't want it to go away. <laughs> Here's the Everyday Eclectic and some more Capture Life. Okay, so even though that's a lot of paper, I had pulled some paper pads out that had similar color schemes to these. And so I went ahead and grabbed a few more sheets. This is from Chamel. No, I'm sorry. This is from, I think, Amy Tangerine. Uh, just pulled these out of um, paper pads that I had. I just thought um, I wanted to get a few more of certain colors in, like this teal blue, which just goes really well. This brighter pink this orange. I just want to get some of those paper pads used up as well. I talked about how I want to get some more of that bright green in here just to have a little bit to use. I think this was, I think these are still Amy, Amy Tan's newer one. Not brand new, but the one before that. This was from a paper pad um, Studio Calico. A print shop, I think. And these have definitely a different feel to them. They're more artsy, um, not quite as graphic. They're more crazy. So that kind of gives me some good variety to work with as well. So these are all Studio Calico. It's like this as well. And then it's a nice black and white. Um, this is a really pretty, it has like blue, green to orangey polka dots, which will work great with the color scheme. I think I took a lot from that print shop. That was a fun, I hadn't really... Um, use that paper pad yet so that was nice this just kind of has a whole gamut of colors that are in, in those sticker sheets and then I think this is from Chamel's one of Chamel's paper pads and I just thought that those were some nice additions um, this is a little bit more green than what you see in most of the sticker sheets so we'll see if that works or not um, but since I had pulled this color because these, you know, have these pinky reds and oranges and other things, I might be able to pull that together fairly easy. It was, they just caught my attention as looking like they would fit in with this collection. So, um, so those are the ones I added in. So those are the papers. And then I added in, I just came across some scraps. So since, again, there's a lot of camera theme, um, going on with, um, these collections, I thought that would be fun to have in there. And then I went to my paper pads, my six by six paper pads. I'm gonna try to include at least one paper pad in each kit just to get them used up. And this one was fun. It's um this, because I still felt like I wanted some more dimension. Um, this is woven paper and it's just white and craft. And there is a lot of craft in these sticker sheets and so I thought that would be great. And so I just put the whole pad in there. I had a little bit left over from the here and now collection, which is this one. Uh, just a few papers left from that, so um, I'll try to get those used up. Um, I think I used the heck out of this line. I, there's not very much left even in the 6x6 paper pad. Um, I had a little bit of the Capture Life left, but again, not much. Otherwise, I wouldn't have pulled this many pads. But And then I have the Amy Tangerine Plus One, which is where some of those extra 12x12s 12 that I pulled in came from but really almost every single one of these will work with this collection or this kit they're perfect colors okay and then moving along to then the rest of the embellishments I added in um, I'm gonna move this over here I just went bin by bin and I um, 
I didn't do too many flat elements because I have a lot with the stickers. Um, but like I said, I did want to um, add in some more mint. And so I um, had these tickets left over from Dear Lizzie. And they're mint and gold, which, you know, both those colors are in there. So that was a great addition to the embellishment section of this. Um, I had this little um, Kane Company, like, stamp sticker pad that had just some really cutesy ones. So I just tore out one of those sheets, and I'm going to just try to tear them out and put them in different kits. They're just kind of funky, fun little stickers, but had some of the colors that worked. And then I had these labels. I went to my label drawer and grabbed um, some different labels that have that craft, but then this is kind of more that lighter, like this color here, just to add in some more craft elements, as well as these Amy Tan tickets. There's five here. One's gold and craft, and a couple are just solid craft, and then there's one that's like white and craft. Um, try to get these used up. I know I have more of these, but these were separated out. I must have tore them off from the roll, so I'll just try to get them used up. Um, I went through, let's see, I had these left over from the Dear Lizzie documentary as well. And again, because of that cork crafty look to them and they're girly because a lot of these colors are pretty girly, that that would be a perfect fit. Um, I went through like frames and um, I think I just did frames. I don't think I pulled any um I keep my frames, like photo overlays and um, strips, um, border strips together. And so I just kind of pulled, I didn't pull any border strips, but I pulled some frames and overlays. So again, just more of that cork and craft color. This is ripped, so I'm just going to try to use up this bottom portion. But the black and white thing I think will go really nicely. Some gold and some white. Again, some more cork. Um, a gold one here. And then this one is black with the pink. Um, it's pink and yellow, which goes really nicely together there. Um, I pulled some brads. I didn't do, again, enamel dots. I'll keep in my stash and pull them as I need them. But I pulled a cut, some leftover brad sets that I thought would match nicely. Here's some more cork pieces. Had this random little silver thing from Amy Tangerine that says let's go and thought that I could try to use that up. It's just kind of sitting around and taking up space. Then I went through my wood veneers and I grabbed some larger wood veneers. Um, and again, some nice dimensional elements. And then I grabbed um, a whole bunch of cameras because, again, there's a lot of cameras in this. And I did some that are have color to them and some that are just plain. I just did a variety. I did some feathers. I just looked at the different things. There's feathers, there's hot air balloons, there's all kinds of different motifs. And so when I went through my embellishments, that's just what I grabbed. And so I grabbed some phrases, and I grabbed some arrows, some clouds. Just a variety of different wood veneers just to have in the kit. As well as this, it says, I love you. These are all of those. These are up to I did also, oh, here's some more wood veneer in the green because I wanted to pull in some more of that brighter green. And then I also pulled in some doilies. Um, I have a little doily bin and I just did, again, some more of that craft. Because these, a lot of papers and everything is so colorful that it'll be nice to have some of that craft to tone some of this stuff down. Um, I grabbed some twine, some yellow and pink twine. I thought there was another one over here. Maybe not. I grabbed some washies. My favorite white and gold heart, and then some black and white ones. Some more teal greens versus more of the, the turquoise, and then a gray camera, and then this yellow with green and blue, um, like plaid. So some washi there. Oh, here's some more twine. I wanted to pull in some of this blue here, and it actually has white and silver. Um, and then I grabbed some different clips and kind of smaller embellishments, um, some gold ones, some silver cameras, um, some white ones, some of these Studio Calico ones. Um, just try to grab some different options for those fun little finishing touches. These are from Maggie Holmes. Um, these are like hairpins. 
silver. Sorry for my hands. I've been staining, and I think I mentioned that in the last video, that my hands are still stained from it. There's another wood veneer there, a star. So just some clips and some fun goodies to add as detailed elements. Then I grabbed just some, I didn't want to really do any more die cuts because I have so many stickers, but I did grab some of these old Meyer Road Black and Craft cameras. Try to use those up. This gold leaf. And I have so many of these arrows. I think I bought all this, every Studio Calico package of like arrows and feathers and things. So I'm trying to get those used up. Um... Just grab some in the different colors. Another orange feather. This little, um, oh, that's another wood veneer. It says lovely. These, these two actually were in the initial embellishment um, pile. And then I grabbed some sequins, some black and white striped sequins. I do have kind of like my enamel dots where I can just go to my sequin bin as I need to, but since these were already nicely packaged and they would go well with the kit, I just go, went ahead and grabbed them. So there's those. And then last but not least for tools, um, I grabbed an Allison Craft stamp set that came, I think it was a Capture Life set maybe, or no. Sweet Notes is what it's called, but I feel like it came out with... Yeah, it's a Happy Day stamp set, and it's super cute, so I'm going to pull that in with the kit and try to use it. I grabbed this, like, arrow, chevron arrow arrow um, embossing folder to try to use that, and then this die that just had that really cute camera image that I thought I would use with the kit as well. So that is my Everyday Eclectic kit. So now I have two completed from those piles that I started with. I'm going to go ahead and get this put into a baggie, and I'll be right back. All right, one more kit completed. I am loving this process. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. But I am loving just getting things out of my stash into these kits, and they are large kits. They're larger than I typically would make. Um, and when I pull these out, I can very easily, you know, make them into smaller kits if I want to. Um, but these will be great for crops. This will be great for just when I need a good starting point. I can just pull out a kit and play with these supplies. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm going to keep moving along, getting the kits completed um, from the piles that I've already made. And then I'm going to start the process all over again. And I might start from a different starting point. I feel like I want to start with some paper pads or some um, papers or maybe um, maybe a... Uh, I don't know, a collection kit. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to I'm gonna kind of approach the, this kit making thing on a mass level in some different ways. And so um, but I'm going to con continue to try to use up my older sticker sheets, my older chipboard sheets, and the, the embellishments that I have not applied yet to a particular pile. There were some, you know, that didn't work that are still set aside. So I want to get those put into a, a place and um, into a home and not put them back into those baskets. I want those to be empty so that I can start putting leftovers of newer <laughs> embellishments into those baskets. And I see myself not filling them as quickly because I do really a pretty good job of using up a good portion of my supplies when I work, work with, the, with them as a kit um, before, you know, splitting the kit up and putting it away. But, um, you know, this is years and years worth of stuff, but it's still fun to me. It's still fresh to me. And I'm, I'm loving, um, I'm loving touching it, all of them and, and looking at them and remembering um, each of these items and why I loved them and how I still love them. So I'm excited to work with them in a different, different way. So there we go. I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.